section 3.1, problem 52. So in this problem, we are given a function, which is f of x is equal to x cubed plus 3x squared plus x plus 3. And the question is, does this function have a horizontal tangent? And if so, which values of x does this function have a horizontal tangent? Now, a horizontal tangent contains two pieces of information. First of all, tangent means, of course, derivative. So this is a question about the derivative of f. And horizontal means the derivative is 0. So really, what this question is asking is, for what values of x is the derivative of f equal to 0? So to solve this, we of course have to first take the derivative of x, of f. So taking the derivative, we get f prime of x is equal to 3x squared plus 6x plus 1. And now what we need to do is set this equal to 0. So recall, this is a quadratic equation. And to find the zeros of this equation, we need to refer to the quadratic formula. Now, as a reminder, let us state the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is the following. So given something of the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, then the solution to this, the two solutions, can be expressed as follows. Then x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, let us apply the quadratic formula to our case. So in our case, what is a? Well, looking at our function 3x squared plus 6x plus 1, we note that a is equal to 3. Similarly, b is equal to 6, and c is equal to 1. So now we can directly apply these three numbers, plug them into the quadratic formula to get our answer. So x is equal to negative b, so it's negative 6, plus or minus, so that gives us two options, or in other words, two possible solutions, plus or minus the square root of b squared, since b is 6, 6 squared is 36, minus 4ac, so 4 times 3 times 1, all over 2a. And 2a is 2 times 3, so that is 6. Now let's do some simplifying. 
So we can break up the fraction into two pieces. So the first piece is going to just be negative 6 over 6. So that's negative 1. Then we keep the plus or minus. And then the second portion is going to be that square root uh, formula over 6. Now if you look inside the square root, we have 36 minus 4 times 3 times 1. So that's 36 minus 12. 36 minus 12 is, of course, 24. So, what we get is then the square root of 24 over 6. Now we can simplify this even further. So, we keep the negative 1 plus or minus, and now what we're going to do is keep the square root of 24 on top, and we're going to rewrite 6 as the square root of 36. Now, why do we do this? Well, the thing is, when you have a square root of something over the square root of the other thing, you can pull out the square root, thusly. So again, we have 1 plus or minus. And now, as I've mentioned, what we do is we now write one big square root and put everything inside. So 24 on top and 36 on the bottom. Now this, 24 over 36, if you divide the top and the bottom by 12, you will get the square root of 2 thirds. And this is in the most simplified form that we can get it. So that is our answer. The two values of x for which f prime of x is 0 then is x equals 1 plus square root 2 thirds and x equals 1 minus square root two-thirds.